In this problem, we have a camera drone flying in a curved path over a racing car. The drone flies with a constant ground speed in the y direction. So a d tangential is zero. And the car is traveling with a linear velocity and linear acceleration also in the y direction, following a straight path. We're asked to find the velocity of the car as observed by the camera on drone D and the acceleration of the car as observed by the camera on drone D. So we can express that as find velocity of C with respect to D in the rotating frame and the acceleration of C with respect to D in the rotating frame. We have to apply our rotating frame on the object that is viewing the car. So that is on drone D. X prime, Y prime, we'll have them oriented with in the same directions as our regular coordinate axes. We need to determine how the rotating frame is rotating, the angular velocity and angular acceleration of the frame. And those will be the same as the angular velocity and angular acceleration of the drone. We'll start with the angular velocity of the frame. We can say that the velocity of the drone equals the velocity of point O that the drone is rotating about plus omega of the drone cross R of the drone with respect to point O. So that R vector is here, R D with respect to O. The velocity of the point O is zero, it's essentially a pin, and we can write that velocity D of the drone, that's gonna be in the J hat direction only, equals omega D, we'll assume that is in the positive K hat, crossed with the value D1 in the I hat. That gives us VD in the J hat equals omega D, the distance D1 in the J hat. And from this we can find omega D equals VD over D1 equals nine meters per second over 7.5 meters. And our omega D equals 1.2 rads per second and that is also the angular velocity of the rotating frame. Now we'll look at the angular acceleration of the rotating frame. You may already be able to tell because our drone is flying with a constant ground speed that the tangential acceleration is zero and therefore alpha zero. But if you're not quite there yet, I'm gonna go through how you figure that out. So we can say the acceleration of D is the acceleration of O plus alpha D, we're gonna say that's in the same direction, positive K, cross R D with respect to O, minus omega, omega D squared R D with respect to O. This is gonna be zero because that point O is not moving and we can write that the acceleration of D is gonna be A D X in the I hat direction plus zero in the J hat direction. So that tangential, A D tangential equals zero because our velocity D is constant. So if we put that in, we can write that A D X in the I hat is going to be alpha D K hat cross D1 in the I hat minus omega D squared D1 in the I hat. This is going to be alpha D D1 in the J hat. Now if we look at J hat components here, we can see there's no J hat component on the left hand side and we're left with alpha D D1 on the right hand side d one's obviously not zero, so alpha equals zero equals big omega dot. 
All right, so we figured out how our rotating frame moves, and now we have to figure out how car C is moving when viewed from that rotating frame. So we'll write our velocity equation. Velocity of C equals velocity of D plus big omega cross R C with respect to D plus VC with respect to D in the rotating frame. We can write that VC is in the J hat direction equals VD also in the J hat direction plus omega D in the K hat crossed with our vector RC with respect to D is this vector RC with respect to D. That's going to be D2 in the minus I hat plus our relative velocity VC with respect to D in the rotating frame. That's 12 meters per second in J hat equals 9 meters per second in J hat minus 1.2 rads per second times 3 meters in J hat. So K cross minus I is minus J plus VC with respect to D in the rotating frame. And if we pull together our terms, we end up with VC with respect to D in the rotating frame equals 6.6 .6 meters per second in the J hat. So you may note this is not a simple subtraction of the velocity, the linear velocity in the fixed frame of C and the linear velocity in the fixed frame of D. The fact that the drone is rotating, it's following this curved path, means that it isn't a simple subtraction. It's, it views the velocity of the car somewhat differently. So now we're going to move on to our acceleration equation. So the acceleration of C equals the acceleration of D plus big omega dot cross R C with respect to D minus big omega the scalar R C with respect to D plus two times big omega cross the velocity of C with respect to D in the rotating frame plus the acceleration of C with respect to D in the rotating frame. Big omega dot is zero. Our rotating frame has only angular velocity and not angular acceleration. Uh, and so that's the only simplification we have so far. We can put some more values in here. We know the linear velocity AC is gonna be two meters per second in the J hat equals, and now we our value AD, we know it has a component in the normal direction, and that's going to be minus omega D squared times D1 in the I hat. This is the 7.5 meters minus omega D squared times minus D2 in the I hat. That's going to be the three meter value plus two times omega D in the K hat crossed with 6.6 .6 in the I hat plus the acceleration of C with respect to D in the rotating frame. So we'll sub in the numbers here. We're going to have minus 10.8 meters per second in the I hat plus 4.32 meters per second in the I hat minus 15.84 meters per second in the I hat plus the acceleration of C with respect to D in the rotating frame. And that's two meters per second squared all squared. So if we rearrange this and sum together our terms, we're going to find that we have the acceleration of C with respect to D in the rotating frame is going to be 22.32 in the I hat plus 2 in the J hat meters per second squared. Thanks for watching this video. 
Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.